Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Give a God all the glory. My name is Anthony Daniels, and welcome to the Family Facebook Ministry. Tonight we're coming out of the book of Luke, the second chapter, the 32nd verse. That's Luke 2 and 32. And it reads out of the King James Version. A light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of that people Israel. Again, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of that people Israel. Pretty short verse, pretty short verse. Now, these words come from Simon. We talked about, I talked about Simon uh, earlier in the last two uh, <clears throat> devotions that I published. And this is a sermon that he's giving. As the Spirit has come on him, uh, Mary and Joseph have brought Jesus into him. And he's acknowledged that the promise of God that he will see the Savior before he died. It's come to pass. He's recognized that. And then he makes a statement that Jesus is a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of that people Israel. And I've also read the, in my notes that in, in the book of Luke, this is the first time that the Jews and the Gentiles are mentioned at the same time. And you, and you see the context that they're, you know, the light of the Gentiles and they're going to be the glory of the people of Israel. And, and the Jews and the Gentiles did not congregate together. Jews did not like being around Gentiles, Gentiles being non-Jews, regardless of who you were, because you were considered um, godless and, 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 uh, and a sinner as a Gentile. So here, Simon announced that Jesus is a light, and to light the Gentiles are, he's just salvation to the Gentiles. So Jesus is coming to be a salvation to all people, not just the Jews. A light to lighten the Gentiles or salvation to save the Gentiles. That's what you can look at. And we're the Gentiles, all of us who are not Jews. Jesus has come unto this earth to bring us the gift of salvation. The gift of salvation. The gift of grace. The gift of God's mercy. Again, that's something that we can't earn. That's something that we can't earn. And if you, if you look at what Jesus did for us, I mean, he, he came to give us salvation. He came to, to give us grace. He came to give us a way to, to God. Okay, through Jesus Christ, we can go to God. We can spend eternity with God. He's the way. He's the light. And we crucified him. He, he came here to save mankind, and we crucified him. Now, how much does God love us that he forgives us for crucifying his son. How much the God does God love us? So he gives us that grace. There's nothing we can do to earn it because we've done everything to not deserve it. We have done everything as mankind, as, a, as an entire human race, not to deserve it. Everything that we do as a human race goes against what God wants us to do. The human race has constantly been against God and following the ways of the world. And as an individual, you know, we don't deserve God's grace. Even the best of us, we have done nothing that causes us to deserve the gift of grace that God gives us. But he gives, us, but he gives it to us anyway. He sent Jesus to be that light, to light the light, to light, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of the people of Israel. He also came to glorify the people of Israel. Because they were God's chosen people. They were God's chosen people. And they still, they still crucified him. And today they still don't recognize him as the Messiah. But God is still going to use the people of Israel, the Jewish nation, okay, when he comes back. He, 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 the Jews are his chosen people. And, and that's the love that God, God has for us. There's nothing we can do. Okay, that can cause God not to love us. There's nothing that we can do that can cause God not to love us. Now, even though he loves us, okay, he tells us how he wants us to live, how he wants us to walk this earth. And if we don't do those things, we will go to hell. We will go to hell. Um, understand that. And understand that when God gives us the grace, he gives us that, get, that gift of grace. Nobody can take it from you. Nobody can take it from you. You can refuse to accept it, you can give it up, but no one can take it from you. That's the power of being 
uh, a child of God. Nobody can take that from you, regardless of what they do to you, what they say to you, how they treat you. They can't take away that gift of grace and mercy that God has poured out on you. Now, I will say in closing that once you receive that gift of grace, there's an expectation of change in your life. There's an expectation of change. But, you know, now, when you receive that gift, you are supposed to act like a child of God, like you receive something from God because you have. You've been forgiven. You've been, you've been given grace and mercy. Now you need to act like it. You can't continue to live the way you've lived. And now, I, you know, in this, day, in this day and age, so many of us believe that, you know, we can be a Christian the way we want to be a Christian. We have to be a Christian the way God wants us to be a Christian. Read the word, understand how he wants you to live your life, what he wants you to do. He will guide you into the life that he wants you to have. Ooh, and it's an amazing thing. It's an amazing thing. Hey, that's all the time that I have. Hey, God bless you. God loves you. And I love you too. Have a great day.